I've been jetted into East Midlands to investigate what makes a seat comfortable with Mark Porter, an ergonomist. Ergonomics is the science of making things comfy for people. No, that's fine. What I suggest we do to make up time, there's plenty of seats here in the foyer. Why don't you zoom off and have a look around? OK, will you look after my trolley? OK. <laughs> There's a range of seats here, but they all feel so different. Yes, let's try an experiment. What I'd like you to do is jump on this high stool. Okay. Careful, your legs are dangling. If you lean forward, we'll look at your weight. My mass is 76 kilograms, so my weight pushing down on the scales is 760 newtons. I'm at rest, so there's an equal force of 760 newtons pushing up on my bottom. If you jump off, we'll, look, we'll go to this lower stool and repeat the same thing. The scales are now showing a reading of 50 kilograms, 500 newtons. Right. If we look at what's happening through your feet, we're now getting a reading of 26 kilograms, that's 260 newtons. The chair pushes up with a force of 500 newtons and the floor pushes up with a force of 260 newtons, which adds up to my total weight, 760 newtons. Of course, my weight hasn't changed at all, but it's now balanced by two smaller upward forces. So there's less force on my bottom if my feet are on the ground, which makes it more comfy, actually. Yes, but it's not quite that simple. Back at Mark's lab, this test rig of a car seat can tell us a bit more. Oh, what are these, Mark? You're sitting on a bed of sensors identical to these, and these measure exactly how much and where the seat is pushing up on your bottom. Good, let's go and look at your bum plot over there. This colour plot shows your seat pressure distribution. Right, pressure. Now, that's the force of the chair pushing up and the area that it's spread over. That's right. Mm. And you can see we're going from high pressure here in the yellow through to the medium pressure in green and the low pressure in blue. And in fact, this shows your contact between your bottom and the seat. Now, what I'm worried about here is you've got very high pressure levels here on the seating bones. Ah, so what does that mean? Well, in the long term, I think you become very uncomfortable. So Mark reclines my seat a little and lowers my legs. So now the force of the chair is spread over a larger area of my thighs and back. The pressure is less, so... It feels a bit more comfy. But does my bomb plot agree? Before the seat adjustment and after. No longer the yellow hot spots of high pressure because the upward force of the seat is now spread over a larger area of my body. So, Mark, there are basically two main factors the weight of the person and the size of their bottom. Yes, a small woman with a big bottom should have a comfier time than a tall, thin man. 